Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your source for Second Amendment news. I want to tell you about a new bill that was filed on May 1st, 2019 here. It's HR 2443. A link will be in the description as always. And this was filed by Steve Scalise. Uh, and uh, I'll read you the quick title. It's so new that the text isn't up on congress.gov yet, but I will tell you what this bill is looking to do. And it's going to be really, really good as far as buying guns from out of state. Uh, this It's going to, quote, amend Chapter 44 of Title 18 of the USC, which is the United States Code, to update certain procedures applicable to commerce in firearms and remove certain federal restrictions on inter interstate firearms transactions. So what this bill is looking to do is, one, enable licensed dealers to transfer firearms, and that would include rifles, shotguns, and handguns, uh, to out-of-state buyers so long as the transaction complies with the laws from the transferee state in the transferor state. Uh, so if I were to drive from Massachusetts to Illinois and purchase a Glock pistol, as long as it is legal to be sold in that state and long, as long as it's able legally to be owned in this state, uh, that would be able to take place now. They would just transfer it to an FFL here, good to go. Currently you can't do that. You can't drive out of state and buy a handgun. You can do it for long guns, but not for handguns. This act will also look to permit licensed retailers to sell firearms at out-of-state gun shows, provided that the law of the state of both the transferor and the transferee are complied with. And it will also allow for face-to-face -face transfer of firearms between licensed dealers. Currently, dealers must ship their firearms, significantly increasing the risk of theft in the process. So uh, a dealer from Michigan could drive to Montana and purchase firearms face to face. Now who this would actually help a lot are current active military personnel and their spouses. As you know, military folks are always shipped all over the country or all over the world. And right now they can only purchase firearms in their home state. If this goes through and say somebody who lives in Florida is stationed in Alaska, they could purchase a firearm in Alaska under this new bill. And right away, once this was filed, the National Shooting Sports Foundation jumped on this, backing this. Uh, this is actually something that could be really, really good and beneficial for law-abiding legal gun owners in the country. And we all know that the left doesn't like that, or us, but this is a fantastic idea. This is a great bill Representative Steve Scalise put forward. Uh, we should all get behind this. Again, I will have a link in the description for you to check it out. Give it a couple days for the text to get up there. Uh, but it's there for you. You can check it out at your convenience. Uh, if you like this type of news, if you like Second Amendment news and, and updates as fast as they happen, you can get them just by subscribing to this channel. Hit that bell icon next to it and uh, follow me on all my other links. They're in the description of every video, all my other social media. And until we see each other again, this is Jared from Guns and Gadgets. Be safe, stay vigilant, and carry your weapon. Take care, everybody.